Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas, your friend and tutor, and I'm back with another video on friction. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. Well, this is a cone, and this cone has been kept over an inclined surface, you can say, and this is inclined at an angle of theta. All right. Now, the angle of inclination of this plane, this plane over here, is slowly increased till the cone is just at the point of toppling over. Okay. It is not going to topple, but it's a limiting case. We need to know how long the cone can sustain without toppling. And it is for this condition, it is for this state, we need to find the relationship between mu, r and h. So this problem is a bit intuitive. And let me explain you. Now the, this cone, let's say this is the axis and let's call this point as point B. Now in the cone, in the base we have a radius or a circle which has a radius r let's say so bp will be equal to r secondly this is the axis length or the height of the cone height of the cone you need to take it as h it has, has been given okay and the basis of circular base having radius r right now guys just think about this the cone also has its own center of gravity okay and on that very point the entire weight of the cone is acting or entire weight of the cone passes through. Now this lies at a height of h by 4. Remember this that the center of gravity of the cone is at a height of h by 4 from the base. Okay. Now this is the line of action of weight w and you can clearly see that weight w is acting towards the right of point b. If you keep on increasing the angle what will happen? This line of action will come closer to this point b and a time will arrive when this this weight w or this line of action of weight w will pass through this point b okay and that is the state that is the condition corresponding to which we will be finding the relationship and if we increase the angle beyond that very state that very condition the cone will automatically topple so here it is the timeline of the cone okay you can clearly see no toppling it's a, this is a limiting case. The cone will, will, will stay in this position forever and ever. No problem. But here you can clearly see that this line of action is towards the left of point B. And here the cone topples. So it is for this condition, this state, we need to find the relationship. And let's say this angle is represented by theta. If this is theta, that's also theta. Now W is going to have two components, one over here. This is what you call W cos theta and one component will be here in this direction and this is going to be W sin theta. Now since this cone has been kept over this surface and this will obviously have a tendency to slide down the plane therefore there is going to be friction up the plane this way. Let me try and make this something mu and a normal let me put up a normal also. Here we are going to have a normal offered from the surface onto this cone. So this is going to be n. Okay. Now what we can do is we can apply these equations of static equilibrium. So we have this summation of all the forces along x is equal to 0. We've got mu n right hand side positive w sin theta left hand side negative. So it's something like this w sin theta with a negative sign and this is going to be mu n is equal to 0. Or you can write this as mu n is equal to w sin theta and let's call this as our equation number one. Okay. The second equation that we are going to frame is with this. All the forces along y is equal to zero. So we've got n and we've got w cos theta. One upwards and one downwards. So n minus w cos theta is equal to zero implies that n is equal to what w cos theta so in place of this n what you can write is this w cos theta and let's see what happens mu times of w cos theta is equal to w sin theta you just need to solve this cos theta will come over here w and w will cancel out and the stuff that remains is mu equals tan theta so this is what we get can we transform tan theta into some some other variable in terms of r in terms of h 
yes that can be done let me show you how so this is theta from this point b to let's say this point p p over here and p over here bp is nothing but radius r and this from g to n this is how much this distance is h upon 4 see if i just apply tan theta it is going to be equal to this r divided by h by 4 so tan theta can also be written as r divided by h by 4 so here we have it the final relationship between coefficient of friction mu and r base radius that is and the height of the cone mu is equal to 4 r upon h done and that's it so guys that was all from my side for today and if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial on mechanics has enhanced your knowledge well then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon for instant notification well, I'm going to be back with more such videos on mechanics and a whole lot of topics I'm going to be covering up. Until then, take rest and have a nice day. Thank you.